Established in 1798 as a Hudson's Bay trading post in northern Manitoba, Oxford House is a remote First Nations Cree community only accessible by air or winter ice road. John Thompson is a United Church minister who serves and lives with his congregation on the frontier in Manitoba, Canada. I, I love life and I love, I love people, I love creation, I love uh, the animals, the birds, the fish, everything. Every day is a gift and uh, I try and use it as best I can and fill it as best I can uh, by showing uh, love and care for myself and, and those around me. Pray in Jesus' name. One thing about the people, uh, no matter what uh, place they might be in on their life journey, uh, I found that faith is always very important. The body of Christ. Uh, there's no need here to, uh, to try and and uh, get people to believe in God. It's, it's part of their DNA, I think. We still heat the church by wood, so uh, every Sunday in the morning I, I make fire a little after five o'clock in the morning and by 11 o'clock uh, we have uh, the sanctuary up to, uh, to room temperature. But uh, there's also a lot of need uh, for some repairs to the church, and uh, we're hoping in, in the next few years that we can, uh, can do something about that. I have about uh, 10 or 12 rows here, which is more than we need for ourselves, so uh, we sell some of these potatoes at our church sale to help raise money for the church as well. As you know, the, the history of the church, uh, we were part of, of the spiritual oppression, putting down traditional teachings. And uh, we made a big apology for that in 1986. But uh, the implications of that apology take years, even generations, to work out. And uh, we're still on that journey to, uh, to health and healing and openness to uh, traditional ways and uh, an appreciation of self and the culture and teachings of the people. There's just a, an essential need for the Mission and Service Fund and uh, you know it's hard to expect more from the community when a good 85 percent of our people are on social assistance. Uh, hopefully that will change in time but we're not there yet, and at the present time, uh, if it were not for the Mission and Service Fund, uh, our, we would not be able to continue or maintain the ministry here.